how's it going? I hope you all are having a wonderful day. In this video, I just want to talk about one ingredient that I have found absolutely fabulous. And I wanted you guys to learn about it and know about it. And I'm just giving my little review. I'm not sponsored, nothing as far as even giving, getting it for free or anything. I picked uh, this bottle up by myself at a local Walgreens because I had heard that it really helps with um, combating hair loss and making your ha hair fuller and voluminous and all of that. So I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a little uh, wrap up. I've used this uh, shampoo now for over 30 days and um, I'm really seeing some really good results from it. So let me just go ahead and I, I pulled up a website that kind of uh, talks about the ingredients of uh, the shampoo and the shampoo is called Nizarol, by the way. There you go. I'm just going to put it right there so you guys see it. It's a very small bottle. It is only about um, four fluid ounces and it cost me about $14. So this is a very, very to me pricey shampoo but i'm going to read you the ingredients and then you're going to um see why i spent the kind of money that i did okay so let me go ahead and pull up this website and i put on my little trusty glasses here so i can read this to you and it doesn't take long um so uh let me see yeah here we are all right nizarol go ahead in here if you're looking for a straightforward ketoconazole shampoo now this by the way contains one percent a whole one percent of ketoconazole there are a lot of shampoos that contain much less than that like a 0.1 percent uh or you know or half a percent or something but this particular shampoo uh absolutely contains one percent keno uh however you spell it ketoconazole if you want 2%, you have to have a prescription strength, but this is available over the counter. Uh, it says, look no further. Nizarol for hair loss is one of the best shampoos to reduce dandruff and scalp DHT. It is a less expensive product and it does not contain long list of ingredients that other options have. It's a simple formula and the main active ingredient is the ketoconazole. Uh, there are theories on how exactly Nizarol combats hair loss, but it does three things simultaneously. It cleanses the scalp, its antifungal properties actively fight off fungus, and it also blocks androgen receptors, very similar uh, to topical spironolactone. All three of these play a huge part in the most important factor of all, decre decreasing inflammation. While you certainly could use other ingredients to achieve the same result, the fact that this can all be done in the shower with a shampoo formula makes it all that more convenient, blah, blah, blah. And then um, it's talking about the 1% and uh, any side effects would be maybe experiencing some rashes or skin irritations, which I have not had any. And... Uh, you usually keep it on your scalp for about five minutes and uh, and then, you know, rinse it off. And uh, I'm telling you, um, I don't know what's in this as far as like a, a miracle, but it is a, a miracle as far as I'm concerned. My hair has stopped falling out. I do not have any uh, hair fallout in the shower at all whatsoever. If I comb my hair, it's very minimal, a couple of strands, nothing major. Uh, I've noticed, you know, a lot more fill-in over here. I'm kind of looking down here in the monitor and over here. A lot of growth, a lot of fill-in, a uh, lot of strength um, in my hair. And uh, just just an overall healthy, healthy feeling, a bounce to it. Um, I don't have any, I used to have like some kind of like scalp rashes and itches back here along the nape of my neck. I could, I was chronically like picking it. I was almost to the point of obsessing about it because they were basically like scabs around the um, nape of my neck. And I, I think it had a lot to do with uh, dyeing my hair as well as maybe using harsher shampoos. I'm, I'm not really certain. But um, since using the shampoo, this Nizarol shampoo, it has literally, I have not had any, any uh, scalp or itching or uh, scalping um, 
you know, on my nape of my neck here, anything like that. Uh, you know, I can't tell on my clothes or anything that I have any, you know, flakes or anything like that. I'm wearing a dark, uh, you know, actually I'm wearing a very cute t-shirt. I have to show you guys this. It says dog mother wine lover. Now, isn't this adorable? I love this t-shirt. I got this at Target. I had to have it when I saw it because it's like so me. But anyway, getting back on track, uh, this is a dark color, you know, t-shirt. And I don't have, I've been wearing it all day, basically, and I don't have any any flakes, anything, any residue at all uh, from my hair. Um, yeah, I, I've just had no problems with this shampoo. I have not used, um, I used one organic shampoo in between one or two times, nothing to write home about, but um, consistently have been using this for the most part. For over 30 days now and I just wanted to come on here really quick quick and let you guys know that uh, this is tops in my book as far as you know I know the price is a little up there you know usually I, I, I spend maybe five six dollars on a shampoo not more than that um, but and I've used you know Pantene in the past I've used um, uh, what is that other one um, Organics with the X on it I've used um, uh, Herbal Essence, all of these different shampoos. And I I'm telling you, this is amazing. It's just amazing. It, yeah, it doesn't smell like anything. That's the only drawback. It smells kind of, you know, a little bit medicinal. Um, kind of almost like the head and shoulders. Uh, oh, it's sprayed in my nose. Kind of like the head and shoulders type, you know, before they put any... Um, uh, scents in it. I know that now they're trying to make it more pleasant to as far as aroma for your nose, but uh, it's just medicinal. It's not going to wow you in the shower. It's a, a standard like a blue kind of color, uh, kind of creamy consistency. It does lather uh, a lot. It does lather like some people say, oh, some shampoos don't lather. This does lather a lot and a little goes a long way you just put it on there uh the key to this is to leave it on for five minutes you have to leave this on for a number of minutes at least five minutes probably no longer than seven or eight uh, and then wash it off because it needs that time for the um for the antifungal properties to take effect you know on your scalp and for all the ingredients to get on your scalp and get into your skin, you know, uh, if you're thinking of it like that. So what I usually do is I go into the shower. The first thing I do is wet my hair and then I put on the shampoo. And after I put on the shampoo is when I do my um, uh, body, you know, rinsing and body uh, scrubbing uh, to tick off that five minutes. After I do the five minutes routine, uh, scrubbing down my self that's when I go back and I rinse thoroughly I rinse really really thoroughly my hair with um, you know warm water not too hot what I don't do this is the other thing that I do not do is put a conditioner on my hair afterwards I don't trust it I don't know what it will do to counter act the um you know the qualities of the nizarol on my hair so at that point i'm in my mind if i'm spending 14 15 dollars for the shampoo and it's supposed to do what it's supposed to do i don't want to put anything on my hair afterwards to you know maybe put back some of the bad nasties into my hair and then have some more uh, issues that uh, any issues with uh, flaking or itching or anything like that I can live without a conditioner what I do is when I get out of the shower <clears throat> and I towel dry my hair I do have uh, like a heat protectant kind of uh, light lotion that I have um, before I blow dry my hair and I just put like a little bit like a quarter size you know about this much on the palm of my hand I rub it together and I don't go on my scalp I just go on my hair just like from here down and at the ends to uh, basically uh, put that conditioner or that anti-protectant into my uh, into my hair but then not have the actual conditioner conditioner 
uh, that I would put on my scalp, if that makes sense, okay? Uh, so that's the only thing that I do aside from the shampoo. And then I go ahead and style my hair as normal. And uh, I don't wash my hair more than twice a week. That's what I do. Um, rest of the time it's just showering, but I don't wash my hair more than twice a week. Um, I don't think that I need to with this shampoo anyway. You know, my hair does not get oily. It doesn't, in fact, it's really poofy the first day that um, that I have it dried. So it takes about a day, day and a half to kind of calm down. And, um, you know, this, my hair here is what I have done on Thursday. So this is Thursday's hair and today is Saturday. So uh, if that gives you any, you know, balance of how my hair behaves in those two days. So, you know, I'll probably, um, I'll be washing it Monday uh, morning and stuff like that. And then, you know, that's how I do every three to four days is uh, basically how I do it for washing my hair. So uh, that's it. I hope you guys uh, found this helpful. I just wanted to give my honest opinion and my review. Again, I'm not being sponsored. I, I bought this myself. Uh, the only thing I did was hear about it on, you know, various YouTube channels about this shampoo and how it's doing really good um, things for other people and for their hair loss and hair for hair loss prevention prevention and also um, you know for the dandruff and anything like that so if you guys have that those sort of issues uh, go ahead and give it a try you know it's not gonna break the bank go ahead and give it a try for 30 days I would I would strongly urge you to give it at least 30 days uh, before you you know, make up your mind because it does take a while for the ingredients to get into your scalp and start doing things. And um, like I said, I've, I've had a lot of baby hair growth around here, around the temples, around the top. I think it's filling in a lot. And uh, I just, uh, it's soft. It's really soft. It's nice. I, I really like it. So that's it. That's all I have to say. Please give this a thumbs up if you like it. Share it to friends that might need this information. Uh, I encourage you to do that. And uh, go ahead and have a wonderful day out there. Uh, have a blessed day. Have a great week ahead. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.